the Az Yashir. This is the sea, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, song, the, the song, song, absolutely. Okay, here's an interesting... Um, you know, there's often discussions about who are we really, right? So we are not just animals on two feet. We're a little better than that, right? Right. We hope so. We hope so. Right. So the Torah says something interesting about the true essence of who we are. And, you know, we say, oh, we're related to, there's a soul, there's the heart, the, but what is it and where does it come from? So it says, man de nofach, ma'ape nofach, which means that the, when you want to say something that comes from you, the depth of you is revealed actually when you blow, that that comes from what's inside of you. When I, you know, we shake hands, we're touching externally, right? I give you a punch, you're feeling externally, right? But what is something that actually is revealed from the depth of who you are is when you breathe, when you blow, because that's coming from the inside of your stomach. So the concept of blowing is an indication of something that's coming from deep within inside. So it says when God created man, it says, which means he blew into him the spirit of life. So therefore it says, when, when God blew, he was actually blowing from within him. So not only did we get an external element of God inside of us, we actually got the depth core, if you will, of holiness, godliness inside of us. And that's really the indication of the fact that, first of all, God make no junk. And if God made it, it's for surely good. But not just that we're not just junk, not junk, but we are a part and parcel of God because we have the deepest, deepest part of God inside of us. And that's you, and that's you, and you, and that's all of us. Now... The only other time that the word Ruach HaPecha, right? By Pach Ba'apav, those two words that appear is actually here in Naz Yashir. One is in the creation, and the other one is right here. It says, Ruach HaPecha Neel Mumay. Okay? It says, and the yeah. wind blowing through, through your nostrils, that Neel Mumay, the, the, the water stood up, and that's how we, we came through. So in other words, miracles happen simply because he blew. Right? Blue air. Okay. You ever hear of the, the there's, a threat, there's a concept they say, he's full of hot air. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It's an expression yeah. of joy. You know, <laughs> uh, it's not a good thing. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Why is that? It's because if he's full of it, he cannot allow it. Something that is, you know, if you have bad energy inside of you, let it out. Just let it out. Holding on to things are no good. Listen carefully what's about to happen over here. And this is maybe a twist on it, but it is so true. You know, sometimes there's a person that has aggravation. What's the best thing to do? To just bottle it up? Talk about it. Let it out. Take a wall and let it out. But it also works in the reverse. If you have something good, Let to bottle out. up is no good either. If God blessed you with something special and holy, I'm going to use this. Be, um, how dare you not let it out? If God gave you a gift to just say, mine, that is also wrong. We're not talking about the bad. If you have anger or jealousy, whatever, okay, let it out. Let, let the bad out so you can cl come clean. But we're saying in the reverse. Yeah. If you have specialty, you have something good, you have a holy thought, you have a tune, you have something that you... Don't just hold it to yourself. Share it. You have to share it. And when you're sharing something that comes from deep inside, you can, you can turn the sea upside down. You can transform the whole world. And this was just by letting it out. So the words here is not just the mere fact of blowing and water stands up. It's not only hot air, but it can actually make a difference. Letting it out, something that's so powerful inside, you have the power to change. You have the power to change everything around you. Don't hold it back. 
So really what I'm saying is that Rabbi's counting on you. He needs you to help with him for the minion. He needs you to go and help him give plaque. He needs you to come and give that. There's a lot for you to do. Don't sit back and say, well, can I, should I, is it all right? No! This, hum this humbleness stuff doesn't work here. Am I right? It doesn't work, okay? And I'm just warming up. It's lucky that I'm not a few hours down the, down the line. I'd be all over you. Because if you have special, you can hold back. If there's things you know you share. By the way, there was a beautiful little story that once the late Lubavitch Rebbe, he was teaching about how important it is that everyone has a mitzvah to teach and, you know, Judaism to others. So after this whole long discourse, an old gentleman comes over to the Rebbe and says to him, I, whatever you said was beautiful, but I don't know anything. I've never went, I've never learned. I have nothing to share. So the Rebbe says to him, do you know Aleph? He says, oh, I know Aleph. So teach Aleph! <laughs> if you have something, you've got to share it. You've got to give it. You've got to do it. Don't just sit back and say, oh, there's better people that know it. Oh, he knows more, she knows more. Oh, this guy's a genius. No, no, no. It's not comparative. It's what you can and what you should. So what you're about to write here, and the energy that comes from what's inside of you, you have it for a reason. And every moment that you're living on this planet, that's your chance and opportunity to do something and to be part of this. And don't wait for the rabbi to ask you. Get up and say, Rabbi, what else am I doing? Come on, you're not giving to me fast enough. I got you a good one here, by the way. No, 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 I don't know him from a bar of soap, but this guy, is, I'm, he's a good guy. And I think if you get it, this, just, just a little cracking. That, that, I can say, I, I don't know him from nothing, okay? I think there's a lot more coming your way, and you're just, you haven't even warmed up yet. You have to really go out there, hey, let it shine. Let it come from within. Let it just blow out there and make it happen. Okay, you ready to use the power from within? I am. Now we're going to do it. Here we go. Okay, Neni Mukhana Muzumana. I'm here ready to go ahead and do it. Okay, so. So if you hold my feather right here, I'm going to start. Okay, please say and repeat after me. Lashem. Lashem. Mitzvat. Mitzvat. Ketivat. Ketivat. Sefer. Sefer. Torah. Torah. And that means that now you are fulfilling the last and the final mitzvah of the Torah, which is to write it. That is Mitzvah 613. Keep on holding, we're just going to go down to this one over here. Mapecha, and we'll finish the pay here. There we go. You don't have to push your pay. And then don't let go, look up. 